awesome. Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where I talk about <laughs> things that happened this week in anime history. And we're going to start with March 11, 1984, when a certain film called Nausicaa the Valley of Wind released in theaters in Japan. Uh, this wow. was technically the adaptation of Hayao Miyazaki's manga, uh, although he would then extend that manga much further than the plot in the anime series. And it was the first film made by what would eventually become Studio Ghibli. It actually wasn't Studio Ghibli yet. Uh, they would kind of incorporate uh, a little bit after Nausicaa, but uh, to actually create Studio Ghibli as we know it today. But yes, this was his first original film and uh, established his sort of street cred as an anime director uh, who not only did, who not only made movies, but also made uh, complex movies about uh, social issues and um, uh, themes like the environment and so forth and so on, while also being entertaining and, and action-y all the way through as well. Um, so the beginning of Hayao Miyazaki's career in the sense of like big film director back in 1984. But also this week, we got a little anime series uh, premiered in Japan. Ever heard of Sailor Moon? Does that sound familiar to anyone? Slam. Um, yeah, something about girls who have magic or something. I don't know. I thought it was a U.S. Navy production. Oh. Uh, no, yeah, no, yeah. Um, I'm out of the loop again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, premiered in Japan on TV Asahi back on March 7th, 1992. <clears throat> uh, the original Sailor Moon TV series, which is kind of a readaptation of a manga series by Naoki Takeuchi called um, Sailor V, uh, hmm. which the anime staff actually came in and uh, kind of reversioned and said we want to do a, a rethink on this basic premise and came up with Sailor Moon instead, um, which led to there's, a, there's a, 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 a now very sad moment in Sailor V where, um, so those familiar with Sailor Venus um, in Sailor Moon, um, Takeuchi originally started this, this magical girl series that was just about Venus as this like 12 year old girl who becomes a magical girl, very traditional magical girl plot. Okay. Um, and then like part way through the manga as they're negotiating about, about the anime series and coming up with this idea for this you know, multi-group series, um, I forget her name, but um, uh, Venus as a girl is walking, walking along the street and Serena runs past her in the background. And she's like, oh, I wonder who that is. That's interesting. And you realize that is the first introduction of the character who will completely overshadow Venus and will make, you know, will, will become the popular character. And this girl will now fade into the background and just become a supporting character in that story. So it's kind of sad in retrospect that that's where everything shifted, shifted around. So was was Sailor V not a team of magical girls? It nope. was just one it was girl. Just the one girl. One. It was just a classic oh. magical girl series. In fact, that was the thing. Uh, let me switch back here real quick. Um, that was what the anime staff came back to Takeuchi with. They said, "We want to apply the um, Power Rangers format to Magical Girl. We want to do the huh. Super Sentai format of a team fighting." It was a team of girls with magical powers. Um, oh, wow. And so they said, well, we, we want kind of your aesthetic, your approach, and so forth. So if, can we do the same kind of idea? And then, you know, with uh, this, you know, thing bad of a girl named Serena, um, I can't, you know, anyone who's seen right. Sailor Moon, you know what Serena's like. Um, and uh, yeah, and that, that's how that all, that all came about. And so Turkey said, okay, yep, I will kind of tie up Sailor V and then relaunch Sailor Moon. And I so, I mean, that ended the Sailor V manga series entirely? As far as I know, there's one volume of Sailor V. Wow. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, that's great <laughs> success for that, mm -hmm. but it's like, as a single magical girl to, like, end that to then launch Sailor Moon, that's like, yeah, that is kind of sad yeah. for Sailor V. Yeah, I yeah. know. It, it, and it's a, it's a cute, sweet little manga. Um, she had her and, time in the sun, and then they sort of pushed her out of the way for, mm -hmm. for Serena and Sailor Moon. You go up <laughs> over there. Yep. Um, wow. And it also kind of reversions things a little bit because she again she's like twelve or so in the original Sailor V, um, and so although I believe in Sailor Moon, Sailor V is a thing. In the original manga of Sailor Moon, Sailor V is an is an extant character who is like a, a magical girl who's going around you know doing cool things. Sailor Moon hears about this, think oh wouldn't it be awesome, and then Luna shows up, and they start the whole okay. plot, and then Sailor V, the girl who is Sailor V, shows up. 
Um, so they kind of, you know, that is still kind of in the background of the Sailor Moon story, but very yeah. quickly it's like, yeah, but no one cares about that, basically, <laughs> unfortunately. You know. um, Sailor Scouts, ahoy! <laughs> yep. But they did fine. I, I think it worked out. Like, I think, <laughs> I think everyone involved. Yeah. Yeah, no just complaining. a little bit. The, the sadness of poor Sailor V, it, you know, you kind of probably over the trillions of, of copies of <laughs> of, yeah. the, of the DVD of the anime series, you probably will get over that with all the money from it. So, mm-hmm. you know, slightly. Hopefully. Let's put it that way. Let me, let me correct that. Hopefully you'll get right. over it, depending on what their cut was. Exactly. For, you know. um, and I was wrong. Uh, it was uh, three volumes of uh, Codename Sailor V before it got uh, wow got shut down. Wow. Yeah, someday. Yep. That, that's history. That, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Yeah. 